Yo, what is up guys? Welcome to the YouTube video and in today's video we're gonna have a look at the brand new Striker Pass that just released on the Ajo server. We're gonna have a look at all of the rewards that are in the Striker Pass and also we're gonna have a look at the Ultra skin that comes along with this Striker Pass. It's the Ultra Vector skin. But we are also gonna have a look at the new weapon that just released. It's called the Fal. We're gonna hop into the shooter range to see what it feels like, what it looks like, what it sounds like. And of course, if you like this video, make sure to smash the like button and of course hit that subscribe button because you know what happens at 15k subscribers, right? All right, we are hopping into the Asia servers. Asia servers. And there we have it. All right, Bloodstrike Season 7, new Battle Royale. And as you guys can see, we have a brand new P90 skin that you can get unlocked for free. This is a permanent legendary skin. We also have a camo selection chest and we also have some exclusive avatars. Obviously, we also have the rainbow dagger that we all know and love. Am I right? All right, let's hop into the game. All right, so up here, we have the brand new battle pass. It's called Golden Dunes. And we have weapon skins, we have striker skins, and of course, we have some in-between rewards. But let's have a look at what is in it specifically. So first up, we have some noble coins that you get for free. And then we also have the legendary lapis lazuli skin for the AUG. Now, let's have a look at that up close this is a really really sick like i i'm not gonna lie to you i love the little scarab on the side of the gun and the like blue glowy effect honestly this looks really really good i really really like it and you can see some hieroglyphs pattern also on the gun so that looks really really dope um let's see what that looks like with a camo so yeah this skin actually with a golden camo looks amazing i really really like it up next we have the camo so we have a yellow team kind of like uh camo going on so it's called triple sec and for the people that know <laughs> don't know what that means it means triple dry um it's a yellow kind of team which makes sense we're in egypt it's a sand team um up next we have some reputation points we have some xp cards another uh, preview of what the camo looks like we have a sticker over here with two egyptian cats which looks very very cool we have some trial cards we have some noble coins obviously some more camos and as you guys can see in this battle pass it has a lot of noble coins it has a lot of xp cards so if you are into that if you are looking to upgrade your guns or even get some uh you know skins from the uh, noble coin shop you will be able to get quite a bit of coins from this we have a brand new nova skin called dark violet and honestly this is kind of like giving me Halloween vibes. I mean, we are mid-September. And you know, the end of October, it is getting closer and closer. And as you guys can see, we have some like spiderweb details. So yeah, definitely giving me some Halloween, some early Halloween vibes. We're going to move on. We have a Sphinx sticker for the guns that we have. We also have some more stickers. Uh, we have an avatar over here called Feathered Goddess, which looks really, really nice. And then we have an ornament, a brass wolf head. Now, honestly, this thing looks really, really beautiful. If you add this onto a golden camo gun, I think this will look really, really nice. Up next, we have the Fal. And now the Fal is the brand new weapon that is coming along with the Striker Pass. All you have to do is reach level 20 in the Striker Pass, and then you will be able to claim this gun for free you do not need to pay to unlock this weapon but it does look absolutely amazing we're gonna hop into the shooting range very very soon um to see what this gun actually looks like what it feels like but from the first look of it it looks really really nice and um it does look like we have the same kind of iron side for that we have for most guns but that's okay up next we have the epic kinda amber skin this is nothing too special it's an epic skin but it is a nice kind of look if you are into the gray team if you want to have some orange accents in there um we, we do have like a camouflaged cape over here in the inside which looks really really nice we have a reward of 1000 noble coins over here and then up next we have the brand new legendary Ethan skin it's called gilded and honestly this skin looks really really cool in my opinion honestly i love the gold type of vibe i love the blue accents that are on this it looks really really good i really like it this is probably gonna be my new go-to Ethan skin i really like it and then up next, we have some more avatars. We have some more stickers, you know, the usual, the usual. You unlock all of the weapon uh, camos in this battle pass um, just by progressing. No need to open any chests for it. And then on level 40, we have the Fal legendary gun. Now, this is the same one as we have for the AUG, the Lapis Lazuli skin. And as, I, as you guys can see, this one is actually a little bit different. I just noticed that the Scarab is not on the side of the gun like there is with the AUG, but it does have some 
some other type of like hieroglyphs on the side and of course it has the hieroglyph blue shiny pattern as well honestly i really like the skin this is like simple and effective i really think this is not a bad first skin for this weapon so yeah i'm excited to see what that looks like in game and of course, I had to have a look at what it looks like with the golden camo. It looks clean. It looks shiny. And you know, gold blue type of vibe is definitely, definitely good looking. Up next, we have another like sticker. We have some upgrade points as well that you get along with this battle pass. And then we have an ornament called Bastet. Uh, and honestly, this is super, super cute. I really like it. It's a kind of like uh, Egyptian kind of cat ornament. I really like it. So, you know, W, another cat ornament in the game. I'm all for it. All right, and then up next, we have some more rewards. Reputation point, noble coins, XP cards, the usual, the usual. And then finally, last but not least, we have the Ultra Vector skin. Now, this Ultra Vector skin is probably going to have a special iron side. It's going to have some special effects, so let's have a look at it. Oh my god, look at how glowy it is. It actually has some kind of like glowy sand effect on it. It also has some like moving parts inside of the gun. Let's have a closer look at what that actually looks like. Dude, this looks absolutely gorgeous. It has some iridescent kind of like color scheme on top of the wings. And in front of the gun, you actually have a snake. <gasps> Bro, this actually looks amazing. It looks amazing. The, the, the attention to detail on this skin is absolutely impressive. We have some hieroglyphs again on the gun as well. And then we also have these like kind of like colorful patterns as well. Honestly, this might be like one of the best battle pass skins that we've had so far yet i'm not even lying to you guys i told you guys last time the ultra vss skin was looking good but this one looks even better than the previous one so let's have a look at what these effects look like so the kill broadcast actually looks like this which looks really really beautiful i really like that we have the muzzle fire we have the tracer ammo as well which looks very very good and then finally we have the hit effects very very nice all right dude this is definitely an ultra skin worth your buck i really think this skin looks absolutely gorgeous now we're gonna have a look at what is in these chests as well these are the battle pass chests so if you finish the battle pass you can open up these chests for some extra rewards so let's see what is actually in that so in these chests we have an ornament called the death junior again this is kind of like halloween type of vibe so we are getting some teasers for halloween already which is actually kind of crazy we have a sticker we have an avatar we have some noble coins and of course xp cards and reputation that is what you get in this battle pass anyway let me know what you guys think about this new striker pass in the comments down below i definitely think this is one of the best striker pass i have seen to date yet the legendary skins look absolutely gorgeous the ethan skin but also the aug and the foul skin and the ultra skin i mean do i have to say more do i have to say more like this thing looks absolutely insane all right and now we're off to the shooting range to check out the new gun foul all right so this is what the foul actually looks like uh i haven't put any attachments on this on purpose so i kind of want to see like what the recoil looks like what the gun looks like and feels like and then we're gonna have a look at the attachments very quickly to see if we have any attachments that kind of like change the feeling of the gun you know automatic versus semi-automatic i haven't even shot this gun yet so i don't know what it is at all so let's have a look Enemy hit. oh okay so it is automatic okay 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 there is some really really heavy recoil to this but not impossible all right let's see what the recoil pattern looks like actually it's not that bad as you guys can see like okay i'm gonna put myself all the way up here but as you guys can see it is going kind of like up and down and then very much to the right so if i actually go back here and we're gonna like pull it down to the left you basically can like have a, a nice recoil control now this is without any attachments at all so let's do some attachments all right, so after putting some attachments on it, I haven't tried it yet, but there is no attachments for this gun that will make your gun semi-automatic. So it is an automatic assault rifle. It has a lot of recoil, but let's see how it actually does now with some attachments on it. I did put a suppressor on it to reduce the noise a little bit, so let's see what that looks like and what that feels like. Okay. Oh, I really like the, the sound of this gun. All right, so we have 50, 50 bullets on this, by the way. Even hip fire feels really, really good. So I don't think you really need an attachment for the hip fire. But let's see what that looks like uh, long range. Okay, so you can tap with this gun. And it's actually super, super accurate. Look at that. So I just click, click, click. And basically your bullet goes where, where you want it to go. So the first bullet is always accurate. That's really, really good to know. So basically if you just time your shots, this thing can do crazy, crazy damage. 49 headshot damage. And then we have 35 
body damage. 35, okay, so there seems to be like no damage fall off almost, um, which might be because of my attachments. But anyway, uh, I'm gonna be definitely maxing this baby out, uh, so yeah, keep an eye out for that. Uh, honestly, I think this is gonna be a very meta weapon. Like, I think in the hands of good players with good aim, who know how to like tap spray, this is gonna be very nice. You see that? You can just spray as well. But I do think the tap fire from for long distance is gonna make it like very very versatile. Honestly, I think this is gonna this is gonna be the next new thing, especially with the AR-97 being nerfed. This might actually be the next new thing, you know? Look at that. Oh man, the fire rate is actually pretty decent too. Like, rather than holding down, you can just tap very very fast, and it pretty much resets the recoil instantly. Look at that. Oh my god, this is gonna be crazy. This is gonna be crazy, bro. This is gonna be crazy. Anyways, we're gonna try this baby out when it actually comes to Europe. I'm gonna max out the battle pass. I'm gonna try to max this gun out very, very fast. You guys will see. So keep your notifications on, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.